Hi everyone, I was talking with a planner uh, last week and this idea came out that I want to share in this video today. And the idea was that sometimes we underestimate the value of what it is that we do for our clients. And I mean, in the sense I was talking with this planner, what I was saying was the value that there is in helping people get their finances organized. Now we take this for granted. If you're in the financial planning industry, if you're working in the financial planning industry, that is, chances are you're pretty good with numbers. That's why you're attracted to this industry. Probably good with numbers and hopefully good with people as well. The reality is that not everyone is good with numbers. And you'd probably see that in the clients that you see and the people that you come across in your financial planning business. So we take for granted, again, the fact that we're good with numbers, that we can look at a superannuation statement and we know exactly what to look for. Um, we know how that system works. It's second nature to us. Your clients don't know that. And there is some incredible value in helping them get organized. That fact-finding process, if you do that properly, and then you go back to them with a proper statement and position and an analysis of their spending, which I'll come to in a minute, that is an incredibly powerful experience for a lot of people because most of them have never done that before in their life. Or the times when they have done it is perhaps when they're applying for a loan or something like that. So they just do what they have to do. They don't really do it as a learning exercise. I mentioned cash flow. I think cash flow is going to become more and more important to financial planners. You're looking for ways to deliver value to your clients and you're looking for things that you can do um, that have a high payoff to your clients and a high value to them. You need to consider cash flow services, looking at some budgeting software programs. There's plenty of them out there. Um, most will have direct feeds from the client's bank accounts. And it's a really good way, especially with the direct feeds, because what you can do is you can set them up, get the feeds to go in for, say, the last three months or four months, however long, far back you can go. And a lot of this through machine learning will automatically code this as well. So you can actually categorize it pretty easily and sit with your clients. Um, you know, it might take you a few days to set up with them. You know, you may have to go and do a little bit of work manually to set up the cash flow um, categories. Then you can sit with them and actually have a real truthful conversation about here's where you have been spending your money in the last three months. And maybe it differs to what they've told you or what they've told you about their savings capacity. So again, it's helping them get financially organized. And believe me, most people have never done this before. As I said, we're in this industry, we take it for granted. Your average client does not know how to get organized financially and is looking for you to help. So take the fact-finding process seriously, but incorporate it as part of your value proposition. Talk about that. Say part of what we do in XYZ Financial Planning is we help you get financially organized. Um, I think it's a fantastic um, part of a value proposition that you can have with your clients. Again, interested in your thoughts, uh, leave a comment, share the video, um, let me know what you think. Thank you.